Y'all, my favorite time of the year is here. I love Christmas. Like, I would be that crazy person that leaves my tree up all year long if my husband would let me. I love everything about this time of year, from spending time with my family to making homemade cookies, even though I'm not the best baker in the world. But I also realize that this time of year is a little chaotic when it comes to the classroom. Your students are full of excitement because of the spirit of the holidays. Now, I always try to embrace the chaos that is the Christmas crazies and enjoy it, but I also know that some days you are just in survival mode and you just need some type of quick activity that can help get you through the day. You know what I mean? So today I am so happy to share with you, I have five festive free math resources to share with you to help get you through these winter months. So if you are ready, hit that subscribe button below, give this video a big thumbs up, and let's dive in and get started. Hey y'all, I'm Marcy, the teacher author behind SaddleUpForSecondGrade.com, and I love helping teachers just like you enjoy teaching math in the classroom and helping your students fall in love with it too. Today, I am going to be sharing five free print and go math activities that is going to help get you through the next few weeks before Christmas break. So stick with me until the end of the video to find out how you can download all five activities that I am about to share. Okay, so the first resource that I want to share with you is called Geometry Five in a Row. There are two versions of this game board included. The first version has these cute gingerbread shapes. And then the second version, let me flip it around for you so that you can see, includes these really fun shaped snow globes. So that way you can use this activity in December and in January. So what your students are going to do they are going to, first of all, they're going to need a partner. And them and their partner, they'll play rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. They will use a paper clip or a clear spinner to spin the spinner to land on a 2D shape. And then they will find that shape on their game board and cover it up with their game piece. And then the first player to get five in a row is the winner. The second freebie that you get with our week-long festive freebies celebration is this fun edition color by code activity. This edition color by code activity is actually different from your traditional color by code that your students might be used to. So what they're going to do first is they are going to solve the front based on the color code down at the bottom. Then once they have colored in and completed their picture, then I wanted my students to have a little bit of an extra challenge. So this is really great for higher order thinking. So then what your students are gonna do is they are going to flip it over on the back side, and all of the sums that were found in the picture on the front of their color by code are listed here on the side. Then what your students have to do is they have to come up with a word problem using one of the math facts from the front and then I tell them bonus points if they can create a word problem that matches the picture as well. So this is a fun twist on a traditional color by number. It includes addition facts up to the sum of 20 and then it also um, incorporates problem solving as well. So this is the second freebie in our festive freebies celebration. Up next, because I know that sometimes we are just in a hurry, we need something quick for our students to complete that doesn't involve a lot of prep. And so that is where these two digit addition and subtraction um, printable activities will help. So there are two versions included. There is one that is a Christmas theme, and then we have a winter theme as well so that you can use in January and in December. So 
What your kids are going to do is they are going to solve the addition fact or the subtraction fact, whichever or whichever printable they're using at the time. And then they will have to either color in the ornament or color in the ice cube based on if their sum or difference is even or odd. So this is a fun, quick, printable activity to practice two digit addition and subtraction before you head off to Christmas break. All right, this next activity is probably my favorite and come on, look at those Christmas tree emojis. Like what seven and eight year old would not just love that? I don't know about you, but my daughter is in first grade and she is like obsessed with all things emojis. Maybe that's just my kid, I don't know. But I mean, come on, look at how cute these are. So this activity is to practice graphs and data. So how it works is your kids will need a drop and graph board. Then what they're gonna do is they are going to use a craft pom-pom ball. It could be really fun to get those shimmery red and green ones that you can find at Hobby Lobby or your local craft store. And so what they're gonna do is they, obviously they'll have their paper laying flat and not holding it up like this, but they are going to take their craft palm and they are going to drop it onto their board. Then they are going to graph their results. They might be making a bar graph. There is a pictograph version as well. So what they'll do is they'll drop their palm 20 times and then they are going to tally their results based on which Christmas tree emoji they land on. After they have completed and tallied their results for a total of 20 times, then on their bar graph or their pictograph, they will graph their results and then they will answer the questions about their data. So multiple versions are included where your students can write their own facts about their graph, or you can choose the option that has pre-made questions as well. So this is probably my favorite freebie out of the whole weekly celebration. This one is so fun. I hope that your kids love it. And this last one that I'm gonna share with you is great because it practices multiple skills at one time. And it is called comparing coins. There are two versions included. Version number one only includes pennies, nickels, and dimes. So there are no quarters included for my first grade friends. And then the second version includes quarters for my second and third grade friends. So what your students are going to do is they are going to count the value of each given set of coin. They're gonna write the value up here at the top of their present. And then they will compare the two values shown using symbols. Not only does this practice money and counting coins up to $1, but it also practices place value and comparing numbers as well. So there you have it. There are five festive freebies that you can use in your classroom to help calm the Christmas crazies during the month of December. So you're probably wondering, okay, Marcy, how can I get these? Here's what I need you to do, okay? First, if you have not already, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. Then what I want you to do is head on over to the description of this video and click on the link. It is going to take you to my website where you can sign up. All you need to do is put your name and your email address in and your freebies will be sent to you right away. Now, how this works is a one resource will be sent to you each day. So whatever day you sign up, maybe you sign up on Monday, maybe you sign up on a Thursday, whatever day you sign up, you're gonna get freebie number one sent to your inbox. And then every day for five days, you will get a freebie sent to your inbox. So if you are interested and you wanna hop on the festive freebies train, again, click that link in the description of this video to get them sent to your inbox right now. So there you have it. If you decide to use these resources in your classroom, I would love to see them. So don't be afraid to share in our Facebook group or tag me on social media so that I can see. So there you have it. I hope these help you calm the Christmas crazies and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.